Hi, everyone. Roger Connect with Scott McKinley. Hello. We're excited to be working with you as pure bookkeeping professionals, licensees. And this is one of the things that we wanted to share is our enthusiasm because Scott is the first coach that you're going to be working with, one of four to help you take, help you take your, your bookkeeping firm to that next level. And we have something to share that I think will illustrate exactly what you can be looking forward to. One of our clients, uh, first names, Russ and Russ, funny enough, were a very successful multi-million dollar CPA firm. Russ was basically saying to his partner, you need to get more involved in the growth of the business, acquiring clients. And tell us about that. That's when I got brought into the picture. Uh, I was brought in specifically to start working with Russ on marketing, getting out and talking with people. Russ came to one of our workshops where we were talking about paradigms and the, the belief that we have that we are, that we pick up from other people and after listening to this presentation, the following day, he and I had a, a coaching session together and it was like this light bulb had been turned on. I hate using that phrase, the light bulb. He had this amazing revelation while, while listening to this presentation about how our paradigms affect us in our day-to-day -day lives as adults. You know, Ogmandino talks about habits and the greatest salesman in the world. We become slave to these habits, these paradigms. And in the middle of this coaching session, he said, yesterday you said something and I, I realized what's stopping me from being at that level. It was something so simple that, you know, it'll make you go, how is that even possible? But he had been taught all his life that salespeople were slimy, used car salesmen. Kind of if you were a, if you were a salesperson, you weren't to be trusted. So from a young age, Imagine the type of impression this made on him. He's well into his 60s right now. Yeah. Well into his 60s right now and just had this breakthrough moment of going, my mom told me over and over that salespeople were bad. My question is, how many of you watching this video have had a similar thought that's entered your mind? A thought that started to become more of a thought. It started to gain momentum and it started to become now a belief. That's how we gain these beliefs is by these little thoughts. What we do as coaches is we help to identify those thoughts, those beliefs that are sabotaging success like it was with Russ. From that point on, as soon as he identified that that was what was stopping him and keeping him from going out marketing, what happened to his business? You spoke to the other Russ just recently. Yeah, it was amazing. I sat down just doing a follow-up visit with one of our clients and I'm talking to Russ and I'm just trying to figure out how he's doing, how uh, the other Russ is doing, how's the firm doing. And he basically at that point gave me some information that blew me away. He shared that their practice, their, their CPA firm is now doing three times the billable revenues. This was already a multi-million dollar firm that's now taken it and tripled it simply because of this mindset epiphany that Russ had. So one of the partners basically a CPA, very successful, growing firm, now was able to have this mind shift. And when you have that experience, it's taking the successes you're already having, those things that you've already achieved, and adding to them. That's what's powerful about this. When you can understand what those thoughts are that are keeping you from that next level, that's a game changer. And we work with, with individuals, business owners, to get them to that point so they can have clarity on the focus on what they want to be working for and towards, but taking those roadblocks that we've put in the way, getting them off the, off the page then allowing that next level of success to happen. Just imagine this, because so much of what we're discussing involves value pricing, just realize if you can't ask for 50, 60, $80 an hour, how do you charge then a flat rate of 500, 600, $1,000 for a month's amount of service? But even more importantly, how do you charge 2,000, 5,000, 10,000 for a service project that you're intending to provide that's value-based? Yeah. It's all a mindset thing. And what we're trying to do is actually put you through the processes in the coming months to actually help you take those steps that you need with the coaches that are here to help you. My question is this, if you didn't have those blocks, if you didn't have those sabotaging thoughts, in your practice, where would you be? Let's take it to the next level. Realize this, if it's about bookkeeping, it is universal. Take care. Bye-bye.